Hello and welcome. On this video I'm going to show you how to make a reference jig or a corner fence as it's called. On my first attempt I made the error of not having it secure enough when doing it so it came out of place and moreover the worst mistake that I made was not putting the corner recessed enough to where stock can slide into it. So here's my final product right here that will save me so much time as it's called a reference jig or a corner fence. It allows the stock just to hit these two 90s with the corner seated nice in there, secure it down, and then you can be off on your way. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that in Vetric and see you soon. We're in VCARP Pro now, and what we're going to do is just create the piece of plywood that I'll be using. We have a width of 195 and tap down and a height of 300 okay the thickness of 9.2 mil is fine we're going to be working from the top and bottom left is where we're going from standard scrape okay so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle and we'll just place over there to the right and we'll make a width of 40 millimeters and I want the height to give a wide berth from edge to edge for the uh, router fit to do its job. I am going to go 280 and that should be plentiful and I want to close out of that and just use the arrow keys to drag it on down center it to about right there um and actually i'll move a little bit there we go and okay so what i'm going to do now is i could either replicate this by creating another one and then flipping it over there with the rotate selected objects but i'm just going to make another rectangle anywhere about in here and i want again the heights to be 40 and i will make the width um, 195 minus 20 that'd be 175 and apply that close that out and use my arrow keys to drag it part of the way down and then zoom in for the uh, actual placement of it. And all I'm going to do is align it with the other rectangle right there. Oop, other way. And that looks good right there. Okay, so then we're just going to grab the trim tool and trim right there and there. Close that out. And while we're at it here, um, let's zoom out and get better. Okay. Um, what I want now is a fillet tool. And let's set to 30. And in between there, that's a distance of 40. So we'll take half of that, use 20 mil. And that should make it into a circle, or semicircle, I should say. Neat. And then, so the stock needs to go in there as nicely as possible. On the other one, I did use a dog bone fillet, and I'll just do it right now uh, with that. So what happens with this is the edge of that semicircle moves out but the corner seems to remain the same it doesn't go any deeper so the dog bone fillet does not work for my intended purposes as i found out so instead what i'm going to do is just drop in there and put a circle right at the corner and close that out and go back to the fillet tool make a little pac-man and cut out that corner as well and that way the corner of the stock will fit nice and easy in there and everything will be nice and square 
Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to make another rectangle. And I want this thing to be a width of a 5.2. And I want a height of uh, 250. Okay, hit apply. The thing will even out in there. Okay, again, using my arrow keys to jog that up a smidge. And then I want to create another rectangle anywhere over in here. And I will make that uh, 5.2 again. And I want the width, we'll make it uh, 150. I think I can just close it down and give it a rough into there. And I want to make it connect to there to there. Yeah, that looks fine. But like before, I'm going to zoom in and make here that uh, rectangle line up like so. And just use a fillet tool. And then I'm going to zoom back out and go to the fillet tool, make it two mil. I want this normal. And what I'm going to do is just round those edges. Just leave it up to the router bit. Okay. So there we have the shape that we're looking for okay nice little corner fence and then we go over to the cam side and i'm going to work from the inside out so highlight that nice little pocket tool path okay 9.2 starting from the top end mill one eighth of an inch or three mil and we will name it Pocket Corner Fence. And so they calculate. Okay, close out that. Uh, go back into 2D view, highlight the outer side, and then do the profile. Again, 0 to 9.2, great. Uh, end mill 1 8th. And of course, add tabs. Uh, link 3 mil. Yep. Uh, I definitely want more than two tabs. Um, do six. Okay, add the tabs. And then we go down here to profile corner fence and calculate. Okay, so we're going to preview all two paths. Okay, everything's there that we want. So close out that, click them both, and then Save toolpath. 